Romantic scenes in movies are difficult to film. Getting a kiss right may be the worst part. Actors have to be intimate with another person they may hardly know, they might be friends with, or even despise. A few of the most talented actors managed to hide how smelly, wet, or uncomfortable it was. Keep watching to learn about celebrities who hated kissing their co-stars. Sally Fields and Burt Reynolds Sally Fields answered a fan question on an episode about her worst on-screen kiss on Bravo's Watch What Happens Live. She was hesitant to name names, but then revealed it was Burt Reynolds. She simply said there was a lot of drooling involved. They first met on the set of Smokey and the Bandit. They hit it off and dated on and off for five years, despite the wet kisses. Burt called her the love of his life and said he'd loved her since he was seven years old. Sally said he'd always be in her heart, but that he was too controlling and too much for her to deal with. Helen Mirren and Harrison Ford Harrison Ford is a talented and beloved actor, but he does lack one skill, apparently. He's not a great kisser, as Helen Mirren admitted. They had a few romantic scenes in the series The Mosquito Coast. The kisses didn't do it for her, and other actresses have come out to say they felt the same when working with him. Leah Remini and Kevin James the King of Queens aired from 1998 to 2007. It was one of the more popular sitcoms in the man-child-finds-a-beautiful-wife genre. It followed the Heffernans with Kevin James as Doug and Leia Remini as Carrie. The actors got along well, and he even gave her the best jokes on more than one occasion. But they still had problems kissing each other. The two actors had strong personalities and would often fight behind the scenes. They had days where they wouldn't speak until the cameras began rolling, and that made it difficult to be romantic. They would try but not make any eye contact. She sees their small spats as a sign they truly cared about each other. Marilyn Monroe and Tony Curtis Marilyn Monroe practically invented the idea of a blonde bombshell. She seems like the type anyone would love to kiss, but Tony Curtis explained why he didn't like doing it in the 1959 film Some Like It Hot. He went so far as to jokingly say it was like kissing Hitler, a comment he later took back. But he did stick to how horrible it was. She stuck her tongue so far down his throat he couldn't breathe. He also said she was difficult to work with. She would show up late and drink while they were filming scenes. The struggles weren't enough for Tony not to allegedly start an affair with Marilyn that lasted four to five weeks. In his 2009 book, The Making of Some Like It Hot, My Memories of Marilyn Monroe and the Classic American Movie, he said she got pregnant with his child and had a miscarriage. The rumors were never confirmed before her death in 1962, nor his in 2010. Allison Hannigan and Jason Siegel A bad habit kept these two co-stars from wanting to kiss each other. Jason was a smoker and tried to use gum or mints to hide it, but it wasn't enough. Not even money was enough motivation. They set up a bet where he would owe his co-star $10 every time he had a cigarette and had to fork over 200 bucks by the first day of filming. Jason went cold turkey and didn't smoke for a year, but then went back. They're still friends, but also a prime example of celebrities who hated kissing their co-stars. Lindsay Lohan and Charlie Sheen Lindsay Lohan was an unlikely pick for Charlie Sheen's lover in Scary Movie 5. She refused to perform the three kissing scenes. His partying past made her fear what she could catch from his lips. The executives used body doubles for certain scenes and had to cut others. Despite his reputation for going into fits, Charlie was fine about it. She even gave him a kiss on the cheek when she appeared on a 2013 episode of Anger Management. Jennifer Lawrence and several co-stars Jennifer Lawrence may win the award for the most failed kisses. She'd eat the most disgusting lunch possible, including garlic and tuna fish, right before her kissing scenes with Liam Hemsworth were set to film. She's also friends with Bradley Cooper but called him a wet kisser. He didn't take that as a compliment. Josh Hutcherson returned the comment and called her a slobbery kisser. Chris Pratt was the first married man she had to kiss when they acted together in the film Passengers. This made her so nervous, she had to drink and call her mom to get ready. She didn't want to affect his relationship with Anna Ferris. Emma Watson and Rupert Grint Friendship can ruin a kiss between co-stars. Emma Watson and Rupert Grint grew up in the Harry Potter films together, and their first romantic scene in Deathly Hallows Part 2 felt like a major leap. They'd known each other since they were nine and felt more like siblings. He says he never looks back on the scene. 
She wanted to get it over with quickly and pounced on him. The positive spin is that it did go over well with fans. Kristen Stewart and Taylor Lautner These actors from the famous Twilight Saga also had a strange mixture between love and friendship to deal with. Their characters, Bella and Jacob, were involved in a love triangle. Kristen said in a press conference that any intimate scenes between them went against their character. They just enjoyed looking at how weird it was. Jennifer Aniston and Alec Baldwin Jennifer and Alec appeared on 30 Rock together. They eventually did get together, but Alec wasn't shy about describing what their kissing scenes were like. He told New York Magazine their makeout scenes were painful, and he doesn't know how other actors who have had to kiss her did it. That's the opposite of what he said at a gala in 2008, where he said it was the greatest day of his life. Jennifer Grey and Patrick Swayze Dirty Dancing is one of the most popular romantic films of all time, but there wasn't any love lost between the two leads. Jennifer didn't think they had any chemistry, and Patrick thought she was immature. Kirsten Dunst and Brad Pitt and Tobey Maguire Kirsten Dunst played Claudia in the 1994 film Interview with a Vampire when she was only 11. Brad Pitt originally wasn't interested in kissing her out of respect for his then-wife Angelina Jolie. The scene eventually went on but wasn't great for either of them. She wasn't interested in kissing anyone else on screen until she was 16. She later acted in the 2002 Spider-Man film and gave the world that famous upside-down kiss in the rain scene. Both she and Tobey Maguire had their breath taken away by it in the worst way. At least they won an MTV award for it in 2003. Claire Danes and Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet In the 1996 film Romeo and Juliet, Leonardo and Claire Danes took urging from the director to kiss it all. He called her prudish and she said he was unprofessional. Kate Winslet was reunited with her former Titanic co-star in 2009 with Revolutionary Road. What made it too awkward was that the director was her husband, Sam Mendes. Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling Yes, the stars of another of the world's favorite romantic movies, The Notebook, did not enjoy kissing each other. Ryan even tried to fire Rachel at one point. They used anger to fuel love and get close. They even dated for two years, and it was all worth it for the money they earned from the successful film. Penn Badgley and Blake Lively One of the only things that could be worse than working with your husband during a romantic scene is working with your ex. That's what happened to Penn and Blake during Gossip Girl. They hadn't told anybody about their breakup, but it soon became apparent. Their final kiss lacked passion, and they refused to even touch each other after that. Ava Mendez and Will Smith Ava was so nervous about her kissing scene in the 2005 film Hitch that she turned to comfort food. Unfortunately for him, it was tuna fish, onions, and Doritos. She had to eat a box of Altoids to remove the smell. He had nothing but kind words for her after that, telling Oprah the kiss was absolutely wonderful. Tandy Newton and Tom Cruise Tom Cruise and Tandy Newton were co-stars in Mission Impossible 2. The only problem, she felt his kisses were wet and sloppy. Being watched by a massive crew and trying not to squash his face didn't make it any better. Reese Witherspoon and Robert Pattinson the only thing worse than bad breath when filming a kissing scene is an illness. That's what kept these two apart when they were filming Water for Elephants in 2011. He had, quote, the most hideous, horrible cold of any co-star she'd ever worked with. She eventually gave in, but it's not the best kiss in film history. Now it's time to hear from you. Which of these kisses was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below.